So I'm standing outside the Mays Bank Arena because the week of recording this video, the Arena Workshop is 30% off. How do you buy one? Come into your phone or any uh, any computer that has internet. Come down here to Arena Wars, and we want to come to Purchase Workshop. As you can see here, it is currently for me 696,500. That is 30% off. Regular price there is 995,000. So what we're looking at here with the um, the office style, we can go with the business, which is standard. That won't cost you any extra. Go for modern or urban. Uh, so modern is normally 180. For me this week it is 126,000. Urban is normally 265,000. Currently for me it is 185,500. So the prices that are crossed out, if you're watching this in the future, when the arena workshops no longer discounted, that's the prices you're going to pay. Now these are a cosmetic, though it won't do anything. Same here with the graphics, these are just cosmetic. As you can see they do cost a bit of money. The colour here again, just cosmetic, only changes the look of your um, workshop. So if you've got lots of money, these are things you can do. Here we got garage floor. So it will come with a 10 car garage standard. Now when I say 10 car garage, unfortunately you can only store 9 vehicles in there because this slot here we're looking at is reserved for a specific Arena Wars vehicle. So when you purchase this you are only getting 9 slots. Now it does come with one standard, so this is a second floor and here is a third floor. So you can buy two extra floors to give you an additional uh, garage space. Now I'm going to skip a mechanic for a second because personal quarters is definitely something you want to buy because that means you can spawn here. Normally 220,000 and if you're watching in the future that's what it's going to be but this particular week 154,000. Now the mechanics, the arena mechanic will come free with the uh, workshop but you can also buy a Benny's mechanic here and you don't have to go to Benny's Original Motor Works whenever you want to uh, customise a Benny's vehicle you can actually bring them here and on my main character I'm currently in my um, 2023 from the, rich to, from the Ditch to Filthy Rich series character on my main character I have all my Benny's vehicles in uh, the two garage spaces here in B1 and B2 so look if, you, if you're into customising Benny's vehicles definitely recommend picking that mechanic up it's going to be 247,500 normally but if you're watching this particular week 173,250 and the weapons expert so on his own the weapons expert is normally 727,500 but it's I've got someone in the background talking here I'm just ignore him you're listening to me uh, <laughs> this particular week 509,250 now whether you get the weapons expert or not completely depends to me on uh, whether you own an MOC the mobile operations center or an Avenger because effectively you can bring weaponized vehicles here if you have this particular mechanic like uh, your vigilante the deluxo vehicles like that and you can can modify them here so if you already own one of those vehicles, probably not worth it. However, if you are on PS5 or Xbox Series X and S, definitely, definitely pick up this weapons expert because if we come into career progress, we come all the way over here to special interests and weapons expert. Once you complete all four tiers of the uh, weapons expert, you're going to get the speedo, the Vapid Speedo Custom. The same vehicle that is part of your uh, nightclub warehouse cell missions, but this time, well, this, this particular one is going to be saved as a personal vehicle. Now you can't actually take this into the Avenger or the MOC, and I've made a separate video showing this one on my main account, and I will link that down below. By getting the weapons expert in your Arena, War, Arena Wars workshop, you can bring this vehicle in here and add weapons to it there and I believe that is the only way you can do that. So if you are playing on Xbox Series X and S or uh, PS5 then I highly recommend getting the weapons expert. Anyway I've loaded back into my main character now and this is my arena workshop. So a couple of things to note over here the RC Bandito. If you want to own this particular vehicle which you can purchase at Warstock Cash and Carry it's not on Warstock Cash and Carry, actually. 
It's on Southern San Andreas there, $1.5 million. So you do need to own the Arena Wars Arena Wars Workshop if you want to purchase this particular vehicle or take part in the RC Bandito time trial. Okay, these are the Arena Wars vehicles. So you can see I've got quite a few in here. So to purchase these particular vehicles, come back into your phone to Arena Wars and here we've got upgradable vehicles. So these ones here are just standard vehicles that you can uh, buy normally the Dominator, the Glendale, Slam Van, Rat Truck, Impaler, Izzy Classic and you can have these just as standard vehicles but then you can also upgrade them in your workshop here to an Arena Wars vehicle so you've got three different variants, the Apocalypse, the Future Shock and the Nightmare as far as I know all three are exactly the same apart from the look so whichever one you like the, uh, the look of the best is the one you should look go for uh, over here we've got Arena Ready Vehicles and these are all discounted as well so you can see here you've got the um, Apocalypse, uh, <laughs> Apocalypse Severus can I pronounce it properly and you can see a stock vehicle there versus the fully modded and these do have trade prices as well so you can um, try and unlock the trade price for them so you can see here, normally $3.8 million for this one, $2.7 million because it is discounted at 30% off, so yeah, look, it's, um, these vehicles are, these aren't for, for newer players, and, and if you're looking to make money, this is not something you want to do, this is something for a bit of fun if you're a rich player. So this was the actual vehicle I was talking about, this slot here is only for this vehicle here, so and you, you've got the three garages. 30, 30 um, slots all together you've only got 27 slots for your standard vehicles this one here is for that, uh, for that slot there on all three levels okay now here is a weapons workshop and this is the weapons mechanic I'm not sure if this is available because I purchased the mechanic or not but you can come here and you can upgrade all your weapons to mark 2 variants here same as you would have done in um, other weapons workshops now over here is access to the spectator box and it is free to do this you can just spectate others doing the arena wars series and i'll talk about why you might want to do that in just a moment first let's head upstairs to the office now this is your career wall where you can see all your stats in the arena wars and you can see i haven't done too many i am currently at sponsorship tier level 30 now there are various things you can unlock at uh, different tier stages. Some vehicles you can unlock and I'll try and get some images here to pop up on the screen to show you. At uh, tier 25 you unlock the custom taxi and you can actually use this to do taxi work with and it's much faster than the um, downtown cab company taxi that you just get by going to their um, either to the taxi depot there near the casino or by buying that one off Warstock Cash and Carry. Yeah, at tier uh, 50 you unlock a dozer. T tier 75 you unlock a clown car. Tier 100 you unlock the trash master. At tier 200 you unlock a barracks semi. Tier 300 you unlock a mixer. At tier 500 you unlock a space docker. And at tier 1000, considered probably the most rarest vehicle in the entire game, you unlock the rusty tractor so this does take a long time to get through all of these I have played a little bit of the arena wars and as you can see I am only up to tier 30 so let's back out of here over here is where you can um, view your sponsorship tiers and what is unlocked vehicle trade prices so you can see the uh, a few of the uh, vehicles here with the trade prices, vehicle modifications, clothing items, so there's different outfits that you can purchase. And the only Pegasus vehicle I have at the moment is the taxi. So yeah, so these the vehicles I just mentioned they are Pegasus vehicles, so you can't actually store them in your own garage and customize them unfortunately. Over here we've got a weapons locker, so same as you would have had in other businesses, you can customise your weapons wheel in here by hiding particular weapons you don't want to see. You've probably got one of these in another business, so 
you know, but you can come here to do this if you want to. And downstairs here is your uh, personal quarters if you purchase it so you can spawn here. So that is basically everything you need to know about the arena's, Arena Wars Workshop. Uh, you don't even actually need to purchase this particular uh, property. I was going to call it a business, but it's... It, it's I can't really call it a business because it, there's, there's no, actually no way to make money with this particular workshop. Uh, you can do the Arena Wars without owning this workshop. The only difference is I don't think your career progress counts if you don't own the, the Arena Wars workshop. So you do need that if you want to um, unlock all of the vehicles I just mentioned, as well as various other outfits and stuff. Uh, so from here, you just go and play the Arena Wars, and that's what I'm going to go do now. So give me one second, and I'll be right back with you. you gotta stand your ground. This is the Arena Wars wheel in the spectator box. Now here's the thing, if you want to level up in the Arena Wars, playing Arena Wars is not the best way to do that, not the fastest way to do that. Coming and spinning this wheel is the best way to do that. That's right, you don't even have to play Arena Wars to level up, and you can see it's very full in here. I'm not getting on this wheel to have a turn at all. Because it is paying triple AP at the moment, uh, the time recording this video, October 3 through to October 9. So look, there's not much I can do here right now. I can't even show you how to spin the wheel. I'm going to try a new lobby and we'll see how we go there. And here we go, this time I've spawned into a uh, lobby that is empty so I can come over here and spin the wheel. So you walk up, press right on your D-pad and just spin the wheel. So you can win thin things like money, RP, you can win a power up to go destroy a vehicle inside the um, Arena, War War Arena Wars um, game mode, which I'm going to do now. So here we go, so I can um, use this to try and blow up this vehicle. Uh, I'm not really having much effect on that, am I? We're going to try this a uh, guided rocket. Missed him. Didn't do too well that time, but anyway, we'll have another spin of the wheel. Try and win some um, Arena Wars points. And we've got a free spin. So that's right, because it does cost money to spin it each time. And there's a short delay before you can spin again. I don't want a free spin, I want an AP. Only 20 seconds left, I'm not going to get a chance to spin again. So I'm going to jump in and actually play the Arena Wars now. And I'll show you... What to, yeah, not show you what to do, just show you how fun the Arena Wars mode can be. So this particular one is called uh, Flag War. This is basically a capture the flag. Oops. So I've now got hold of the orange flag, I just need to deliver it back to my base. And there we go, giving my team one point. So you can see here, like, <laughs> my team has not done really well at all. Um, 11 to 7 at the moment, I'm coming in. 17 seconds left. Can I get this delivered? There we go. And I've been blown up. Do I respawn? I do respawn. Awesome. But too late. 12 to 8. We're going to lose this one. And that is only one round. I don't even know how many rounds we're playing. So you can see there, made 17,000, the winners made 35,000, that's just one round. And that is pretty much all you need to know about the Arena Wars Workshop and the Arena Wars Game Mode. Now, uh, look, is it worth it? 
If you're looking to make money, no, it's definitely not worth it. If you're a lower level without much money, definitely not worth it. If you're an experienced player, you've got tens of millions of dollars, maybe even hundreds of millions of dollars, then definitely, I would say, I would say, if you've got less than a hundred million dollars, I wouldn't waste your money because it's going to cost lots of money. You've seen how much some of those vehicles cost, the how much the workshop itself cost. Uh, the, look, I'm not going to lie. It is fun. It is a lot of fun. I really love this game mode. I really love getting in there with the other, when, particularly when there's other players in there. Most of the year, you're not going to get players in here. This particular week where it's triple money, triple RP, triple AP, you're going to get players in there, and you're going to have a lot of fun with these game modes. So definitely get in and have a go. And, uh, yeah, look, only if you're rich, though. Only if you're rich. If you're a poor player, uh, there's better ways to make money and I've got I've got guides on how to make money if you're a low level if you do want to get into this and have a go of this then go check out my Ditched Filthy Rich series for 2024 if you don't know how to make money follow you along with your character make millions and millions of dollars then come back and buy the Arena Wars and have a bit of fun in here anyway that's going to do it for this video if you enjoyed it please drop a like if you want to see more GTA content hit that subscribe button big shout out to my channel member nmoz091 and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.